Hello and welcome to Paris Set Me Free. Mini photo tutorials. Have a look at this old goat. Can you guess where it is? <clears throat> well, if you know Paris at all, you you might recognize some of these signs because there's certain areas in the Latin Quarter especially where there's lots and lots of these little restaurants with these what they call menus. Um, a menu isn't the same in, in French as in English because uh, in English the menu means what you can choose from. Uh, so it's kind of like that but what it means in French is it's a set menu. So their menu is our set menu. I think that's right. And this is in the Latin Quarter and a lot of these restaurants are Greek. This one is Greek although it, it's got a Greek name and a Greek style but it says uh, French specialities. But they've all, they're all very colourful, very, uh, very nice. I like them. Some people turn their noses up at them but uh, I like the bustle and the hustle, although we normally say it in the other way around, um, of these places full of tourists, uh, but with a certain charm nevertheless. Once, Normally the worst thing is as you walk down the street because they're all trying to grab you and uh, <laughs> these people dressed in these lurid costumes of their particular speciality saying uh, how wonderful it is and uh, very good here, we have plenty of places and so on, But uh, which is a bit of a hassle, but once you get in they don't bother you, bother you too much. I was looking for something interesting and I found it and it was a goat and as you can see um, the challenge was actually to to use this wonderful poor old goat with his two completely different battered old horns in a way which would be interesting and complementary to the restaurant. Well I tried to place these two signs um, next to each other in a diagonal going from this corner down to here sort of getting bigger so you can see that it's getting gives you a nice sense of perspective with the road going off there also the sign which was nicely lit and the goat made sure to put the goat in the well the bottom left hand corner as the center of interest and there's his restaurant that he's proudly guarding <laughs> albeit a bit weatherly weatheredly uh, behind him now ahead of choice of shots let me show you what I took, including a real dilemma, because look at this one. Human interest, oh yes. So I was extremely tempted to use this one. I haven't used it yet, or or at least it wasn't the one that I chose for for the first shot to go onto the site and to show to people for two reasons. One is exactly because there is a guy there, just to avoid any possible problems. I didn't use it because you can very clearly see his face and it's just something to think about. I, I certainly don't have his permission at this moment in time to use this photograph so although he was sweeping in the street maybe he doesn't want other people to know that he's sweeping in the street although I guess you could say that now that he's on the video <laughs> people could. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway the other reason for not using this although it's quite nice and sharp and so on was the angle of the of the photograph because if you compare it with this with these others this one this one. I've crouched down so I, the goat is actually looking rather regal looking down on me there whereas um, in the other one it's a bit plain to be honest this is your tourist shot it's obviously taken from eye level so you're looking down on the goat which is a shame because look at the difference in the the presence of the goat here you're looking down on him he, he doesn't look much more impressive than a dog and here it's almost as though he's looking down at you considering whether to let you into his restaurant so that's rather nice. Uh, the other one I had was this which again I don't really like it for, for the reasons I've just stated although uh, it's okay you can see the street going to the distance but I wanted to fill the frame with the goat and his restaurant which is what I did and it turned into this. Um, let me see what I've done to it obviously made it much brighter played around with it a bit because what tends to happen on dark and dull days is that things are just a bit mushy things are a bit uh, <laughs> always said woolly um, and it's just a shame that the, there wasn't great sunlight so it needed zapping up a bit, a bit there it is I've even gone over the top of it on this one I wanted to really add a, a bit of fantasy so 
I've even put a bit of grain in and so on. Um, and and what you have is a is a funny shot. You can tell that it's French, or it could be France, because uh, the menu's in French. It says French specialities. Although this might might say to you, mm, kind of looks a bit Greek. And as for the goat, well, that's anybody's guess. Although there is a famous French salad called um, Salade de Chef Rochot, and it's a uh, hot goat salad. Although you're not actually eating hot goat, you're eating hot goat cheese. But I've always liked the name of that salad. So that was my uh, nice, bright, cheery and quite fun goat photo. And I think it's the first I've ever taken. So there it is. Uh, short and sweet. Um, keep your eyes open as you're walking through these touristy areas to try and get a shot and do your best not to make it that touristy by doing anything you can. Um, such as squatting down. Something as simple as squatting down can make all the difference. And of course never forgetting your artistic eye. In other words, there's the repetition of the theme. There's the one menu board and then there's the second one. Um, much, you're much closer to it. You've gone way off to one side so you've got this nice receding effect there as you shoot across the front of the restaurant. So that's it for this time. Happy, uh, happy shooting, happy eating, happy goat. See you next time. Bye bye. Depuis que je suis à Paris, le jour et la nuit, je suis gris. J'ai compris la douceur de vivre. Je suis fou de joie, je suis ivre. Depuis que je suis à Paris.